In 2004, New York City passed the Downtown Brooklyn Plan, a major rezoning of 60 square blocks in downtown Brooklyn and Fort Greene. The rezoning sparked a wave of demolition and new construction, mostly of luxury housing. It has forced open a fierce debate about what kind of development should take place in neighborhoods and how decisions about development are made. You know how many rezonings we got passed in the past four years? Yeah. 55. Okay. 55, and we have several in the hopper. That means for 55 neighborhoods, 55 wow. neighborhoods, we have built consensus with the communities, with elected officials, and gotten these passed by the city council. It saddens me, and I am so angry that a few selected people can decide the fate of communities like ours. Now the developers come in and they want to develop the area to make it better. Better for who? You know, I respect they want to fix up the community and all, but there's a lot of people suffering behind that too. I feel really insulted that you would come here and try to present something like this to our community. What happens when people tell you that abolitionists lived in the house, was a part of the movement? Yeah, but we can't link them to the Underground Railroad. I think you can because you don't want to. I came down here because we have been fighting against the destruction of this Underground Railroad house. And so hence we're here because we have won. When you come into a community and tear it down, you're not just tearing down the building, you're tearing down the people too. you breaking up the heart of something that's been working and beating for years. When you look at a map, it ain't nothing but a bunch of veins. So when, when you look at downtown Brooklyn, you just been cutting up the veins. You, you cut up the heart. It's like coming home and finding out the lock's been changed. Mailbox got new names, the whole block's rearranged. Mom and pop spots replaced by Old Navy and Starbucks. Fact still remains, they want to get rid of all us. From Jersey to Oak Town and back down to New Orleans. We don't own the hood we call home, they're strangling all us. That Constitution shit, it ain't never been for us. So behind closed doors, you can guess what they call us. Ambitions getting clouded by the bleakest surroundings. Urban renewal only means unaffordable housing. Tenements becoming condos worth hundreds of thousands. So single malls with three mouths to feed get forced up out of them. It's overcrowded at the bottom, swept under the rug. Gentrification claiming more turf than crips in the bloods. After the flood, we still waiting on something.